Right. I think we're live. I think. Well, I'm hope we are. Hope we're live. <laughs> we, um, we've had a bit of an is, issue um, playing up, isn't it? Computer's been really slow, so if this doesn't work, we won't be that surprised. Anyway, hello, welcome to the video. We thought we'd do this live just so we can say, you know, hello to people and chat while we're doing it. Uh, this is going to be a sales roundup. Yeah. Of a few bits and bobs that have sold on eBay for us recently. If you're new to the channel. Uh, my name is Nick, and this is my wife, Andrea, and we are resellers. What does that mean? What does it mean? It means that we um, buy secondhand things in general. We do buy some new things, but mostly we buy secondhand things, yep. and we resell them um, for a profit. That's the idea anyway. Usually works <laughs> out. Um, and now and again, we like to just share a bunch of sales uh with you guys uh hopefully it'll be stuff that you've seen when we picked it up maybe you've seen in some of the process videos we've done where i'm photographing or listing or you know that sort of stuff yeah. so that's the plan yeah. we are live so please let us know if um we're if we're buffering or if the stream's okay because our computer is just it's like it's got hamsters in it yeah it's been really <laughs> slow i don't know what's going on anyway so yeah Please pop in and say hi. We are live. We will try and keep an eye on the uh, chat, but it is tricky, especially when we're looking at stuff and trying to yeah. explain about the items. So quick couple of hellos. First in was Game Changer. Welcome. Yeah, hello, not, Game Changer. Not a name I recognise, do you? And um, good luck on um, pronouncing the next name. <laughs> XX Ty John 71 xx Wilson. There you go. Hello. <laughs> anyway, yes, welcome. Lots and lots of people, Ken and Amy and Julie and Ella, and we'd be here all night. So we want to crack on and share with you the interesting stuff, which is not us. It's the items we have sold. Yeah, so we're going to screen share. But when we come out of screen share at the end of it, we probably won't hang around for a, for a long time because it will be like a bad dubbed. Yeah, normally you stick around for the end because normally <laughs> when we come back to this screen, we're out of sync. It's it's yeah, yeah, a bit weird. Anyway, right. So let's go into eBay and we will show you some stuff. Oh, Michael Beck says the stream is fine. So oh, that's a relief. That's good. Okay, so first sale you're going to see sold today, and I was really quite pleased with this. So nice little sale to start with. So let me know in the chat. Can you see uh, that eBay page? Once you let us know, we will crack on. If I shrink the chat a little bit, yeah, I can see the whole of that screen. Well, most of it anyway. Andrea, you have a Furby on your head. Do I? Oh, I wonder what that was. <laughs> yes, people can see. Okay, so this sold today. Um, you may have seen in a boot sale video when we were out finding things, I picked up a BBC microcomputer. Uh, it had with it this mouse. Now, I paid, I think it was 30 for the BBC or 35 for the whole lot. Something like that. So this mouse has put me in profit. It went for 80, as you can see there, 79.99, but with free shipping. So obviously shipping's got to come out of that. A uh, big chunk of eBay fees and PayPal fee, but it's still pretty good for a mouse that was in a bundle of stuff. I've still got the BBC, although I managed to kind of blow it up. Um, so I'm hopefully going to get the power unit repaired on that and then still try and sell it as a working model. But anyway, mm. that has sold. So that has yeah put me in profit on that whole BBC pickup already. Um, so yeah, really happy with that. Um, what we're going to try and do is alternate. So the next one, if I've done this right, should be one of yours. Andrea. Uh, this question from Smith said, Nick, do you have a second shop? We don't. Not that we use anyway. We, we have to... one that we use for buying things, but we don't have one that we sell on. No, we used to have two. We used to have one each, but it, it kind of didn't make sense paying two lots of fees. So this is all listed on the same store. So, yeah, so this was a sale from today as well. I woke up to it this morning. It's going off to Australia. Um, but I took an offer on it and it sold for £60. So, so where did um, you... Oh, yeah, I bought it at a jumble sale. I bought... Um, a number of vintage suits they're all two pounds each for the suits and um yeah so i bought it for two pounds and sold it for 60. so sold for 60 and it's gone gsp so the postage you can see there of 3.99 that will cover us getting it to the uh 
a GSP center in the yeah. UK, and then they will ship it to Australia. If you don't know what the um, global shipping program GSP is all about, yeah. So, yeah, so I was really pretty happy. chuffed with that this morning. So yeah, we both had a couple of nice surprising sales yeah. those first two today. Um, so the next one, actually, the next two items. Um, I think these were in recent pickup videos, or we've mentioned them. I picked up this one at a jumble sale for a pound, I think two weeks back. Uh, and this one I picked up, come on, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What? You've lost it. <laughs> there it is. Hey, I hey. hope not. Are the rest of them all lined up? Did I line up them all? Yeah, yeah. okay. Didn't line this one up. Okay, this one I was dumping a load of stuff at the tip shop. Not the tip shop, at the tip. And they have a tip shop there and they wanted a pound for it. I only had 80p in change and they didn't want to change a note. So it cost me 80p. Had a couple of very minor um, issues with it. So I priced it a little bit less. So that one went for 12.99 with shipping, as you can see there. The other one, which was in perfect condition, uh, went for... I just 15 lost 99. it, 15.99, so yeah. yeah. Uh, a couple of questions there. One from Sarah says, and Andrew, did you also sell a jacket of this brand? Um, no, it was that that I shared on Insta today. And George says, um, Nick, I watched your video about claiming expenses for items bought at car boots, etc., cetera, um, and that they really needed solid proof. Can you just move the things? I can't actually see the chat. Um, it's not letting <laughs> me. It's not letting me um da, 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 da. and they really needed solid proof do you have any issues regarding it um well if you watch the follow-up video to that as well there was a few people who had had direct experience uh with hmrc kind of challenging them on it and their experiences with that um we have been audited once but this was when we were running the retail outlet and we weren't buying that much stock at boot sales and they didn't have an issue then when we were audited once um and we haven't been in recent years so it's a good question it's a question that's not going to go away but yeah i can't really advise you anymore on that you mm. know um so right why is this window not closing there we go right so next uh is you again yes um so this is one that i shared in my last haul um and that sold for i think it sold for the full price actually was that today as well it was last night last so. night okay yeah i shipped this yeah. today didn't i yeah yeah where did you get that um I, from a charity shop i paid six pounds for it okay so six into 30 uh with postage of 3.99 yeah happy with that so that wasn't on for long then when did uh, you list that a couple of weeks ago all oh, right two weeks fair enough that's not bad um hello everyone we we can see the chat uh, hi, Michael. Long time I've got to see Nick and Andrea on a live chat. Well, welcome. Good to see you. Um, comics. I thought I'd put a couple of the comic sales in. Uh, you may have seen I was talking about a big box of comics we picked up at a, like a yard sale trail thing. Um, I'm pretty sure it was £10 the box I paid. Do you remember the sale? It was ages yeah, it was, ago. Wasn't that at the end of the day? Right something? at the end yeah. of the day, yeah. A chap who had had hardly any business, hardly any people had turned up. So we yeah. had quite a chat with him. And then I threw him a cheeky offer. Mm. they just went yeah take them away so i bought a box with must have been 150 i think roughly in total comics these were the ones that weren't worth doing either individually or in small bundles right, so i chucked them up for as you can see 40 with nine pound 50 postage um i had an offer fairly quick at 28 pounds plus postage and i just thought i'm happy with that I, I was going to list them for 20 and, and try and get that because there really wasn't much in there that was of any uh, consequence. So, yeah, so that, you know, puts in profit on the whole bundle straight away. And I've been listing more of them today. That's what was in it. So that was nice. It's nice to, you know, be in profit on a bundle and then everything you sell after that is a bonus. Yeah. Uh, the next one was actually the first lot of the comics to sell once this one closes. Come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, so those sold, uh, what is it, a week or so back, um, these five Venom. It's a, it's like a mini series, a little uh, uh, storyline uh, over five issues. Uh, and they, t I think they sell really well if you get the complete like run of a story. So this was uh, Sinner Takes It All complete set. 
and that went for the asking price of £40. So, yeah, I, I know very little about comics. Don't assume I'm an expert just because I'm selling them. <laughs> I, I just, you know, do completed listing searches and find out, research it while I'm looking it up. And, uh, yeah, easy to sell this stuff. So very happy with that. Hi, Julie, talking about got a nice retro red GPO telephone. He wanted ten pounds, got him down to four pounds. Wow, nice haggling skills. Happy with that brand new boxed retail forty pound. Nice, cool. right? So this was one of yours. Yes, and I took an offer on this one at uh, fifteen. I took. I think I'd, okay, yeah. so that's more your sort of bog standard high street, is that? Really? Yeah, um, I did pay four pound fifty for that in a charity shop, and it sold really quickly. So. Okay, cool. Not much more to say. Not much that, more really. to say. It's a top shop <laughs> dress. Yeah. Yeah. It just shows that a high street stuff sells as well. Yeah. I mean, it's a style that I knew would sell. Um, it's festival season and okay. it's very 90s. So it's more about the style than the brand then? Yeah. Okay. I thought I'd chuck this in. Obviously not a big sale. You're not going to get rich selling cassettes generally. I'm, I'm sure there'll be rare ones out there. This surprised me and it sold fast. Um, it's an album we'll all know. It's Oasis, What's the Story, Morning Glory, sold in the millions. But cassettes over the years have all been thrown away. We don't own any of our cassettes anymore, no. do we? And I had loads because we just trashed them all. So they're, they're becoming really quite collected. And this sold quick for £10 free shipping, and that was shipped as a large letter. Uh, got it at the boot sale for 50 pence. Yeah. Yep. Sad asks, do we use Terapeak to research an item? We don't. Mm -hmm. No, I want to start looking into it. I haven't really sat down because it's free if you've got a shop subscription yeah, now. Is that I the know. case? It's just that we haven't really. No, I haven't sat down and spent the time to uh, to look at it. I know a few people are, you know, really enthusing about it. Yeah. And um, going back to the, the red dress, Sarah said that she bought a 90s dress um, or sold a 90s dress, the same color last week, very similar okay so, yeah yeah 90 style is totally in oh lisa's in lisa thank you so much for um lisa bought the downton oh, yeah. poster yeah. that we decided uh, wasn't signed in person it was a, a photographic print with all the signatures on uh and lisa's a big fan so it's on on its way down to lisa yeah so thanks for that so yeah. now this is so, a boomerang this is my boomerang dress this is the third time this dress is sold um it's yeah, sold twice before, and both have said that it was very small. Um, I did have it um, listed. Oh, it still says. Oh, no. No, 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 it doesn't. I had it listed a size 12, um, and I didn't put a modern size on it because all of the measurements suggested it was a size 12. Um, and I included all the measurements in the description. Um, but though both said that it was too narrow on the waist so i've now relisted it for a third time and put a modern 810 and again included <coughs> all of the measurements and hopefully now fingers crossed somebody smaller has bought it and, <laughs> <laughs> and will actually like it if it comes back and again i fit. think <laughs> i think we'll just set fire to it shall we good lord but yeah it was so weird because i bought three dresses in the same size the same style all Laura, Laura Ashley 90s um, jersey cotton dresses and th two of them went no problem absolutely no problem and this one has come back twice so I don't know yeah so can everyone cross your fingers and send us some good vibes in the chat because I don't want to see this back again yeah I think that would be the record three times. No, I had. Did I have something three times? I think I had a car park come back three times, didn't I? That door lock. Yeah, that door lock. Okay, but trying to sell that door lock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, hopefully that has sold and it's not coming back this time. Yeah, now, talking about car parts, I'm only putting one in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, there's only one, <laughs> but it was quite a good one. Um, if you're new to the channel, you may not know that about a year and a few months ago, we bought virtually the entire parts store of a Hyundai dealership. Um, we bought thousands upon thousands of car parts. It roughly worked out that they all owe us a pound or less each. So two of these owe us roughly two pounds and they sold for the asking price of 60. Now that is free shipping and they were heavy. They went by courier. I think it costs about nine pounds, I think, if I remember rightly, to ship them. But yeah, 
very happy that car parts are ticking along slowly i haven't listed many again recently and i've got loads to do but just thought i'd chuck that in there they are still ticking along yeah now julie says i think people sometimes think they are a 12 12 when they're actually a 14 so good luck <laughs> yeah there is that I, I did wonder perhaps that was it and they were maybe <laughs> right what's this yeah. one um yeah this was one that i picked up at a jumble sale a while back probably on the same jumble as that suit actually um and i think i paid three pound for it and yeah is that just you holding it at the bottom yes, or is it, it cut is. or weird yeah it's very very difficult actually to try and angle the camera and hold the dress out oh i see at the same time oh yeah it does look better than that <laughs> it does doesn't it <laughs> So what's that, Keri, Kerina, Kerina? Yeah. Something. Yeah. I mean, I could have put it on the mannequin, but I it's got know. fancy buttons. Yeah, they look like uh, coffee beans or something. They do a bit. Okay, cool. Yeah. So it's a lovely dress, and shirt dresses are, are very in fashion at the moment. Oh, that's a cool thing. Do you normally do that? On um, your... I trialed it for a while, but it was a faff. So it's a bit I haven't, of a pain. Okay. haven't done it since. And pit to pit measurement interesting yeah. okay cool and how much did you say you got that for miss that uh, i think i was paid three pounds for it okay so three and was that full asking on that one i can't remember if we Don't took an know. offer I might have we may have taken a slightly that. lower offer than that we're not sure it's hard to keep up um saz guest says lovely dress i like that um yeah, it's really nice uh rupert says I want some advice on how to get going um join the chat chat and and ask some questions in there um we don't really have time whilst looking at all this stuff to to give you some help right now or join one of our sunday chats when we've got more time to chat um there should be a link below for the chat chat rupert um which is a group and they'll be more than happy to help out so next Steve says, I just dropped three slices of bread in a tray that has a chicken cooking in it for an hour. I need help. <laughs> what? <laughs> Steve's having fun. Oh, I thought I'd chuck this in. Did um, you say dropped? Didn't he, he say dip? dip? No, oh, he dipped. Dipped, dipped three, slices. three slices of bread in a tray that has a chicken cooking in it. <laughs> okay. Um you obviously couldn't wait and very, we're very hungry <laughs> um I sold a few of these dragons now i think four of the ten have gone um so they're ticking along nicely this was another boot sale pickup uh we paid a tenner for ten of these dragons and i really wasn't sure how well they'd do it was a bit of a punt really but they're nice things they're really detailed the right pain in the neck to package <laughs> um but a pound yeah. each and they're going at 15 plus shipping each uh, apart from one that's damaged that i'd put on a bit less so yeah happy to that i took the punt on those yeah. and yeah i've had this one, one for ages actually um is that corduroy yeah yeah it was i put it on last winter i think and um i think i actually listed it as an autumn coat originally oh right now <laughs> now, it's now, it's now it's a spring, a spring coat. oh i see what you did there i see what you did and i'm trying now to think where i got it from um i don't know but anyway i think i took an offer on that as well okay cool so well, it probably it's... went for more like 15. so it's just nice to get old stop moving and yeah. that's a good example of that was an autumn coat it's now a spring coat yeah. um this one, I know I've banged on about this one, but I thought I'd chuck it in this sales round. I'm still amazed I got 120 on this. And why I added shipping on, that was a bit much, really. <laughs> 2.99 shipping on top. Um, but yeah, this is Tombi 2. Uh, the first Tombi is also worth good money on the PlayStation 1. Found it at a jumble sale uh, for 50 pence. So yeah, dead chuff with that. One to keep in your memory banks if you're out and about um obviously worth paying more than 50 pence if somebody's charging more because it is you know an easy hundred and if you can push it 120 apparently yeah there you go yes ken tomby nice 
Um, yeah. So whoa. this was in the last hall as well. Um, and I'm trying to think today. I think it went for full price. I think it did. I'm I not think, sure. I can't remember. Exactly. I thought we did get full price. On um, that. But that went literally within hours of listing it. And I think oh, it's okay. gone to America. Yeah. Did you feel like you'd undersold it then? No. What was? Really. Do, you, do you remember what the original? I can see it's tagged. So what was the original price on it? Um, that it was in euros. It was like forty nine something euros. Oh right, so fifty euros. Yeah. Okay, so it's not bad to get thirty pounds out of it then. No. Wow, it's quite a thing. Yeah, it's it looks really, like a quilt. really, really lovely dress. Looks like a you know, really old quilt yeah. that they. St- <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I know what you mean. Patchwork. Yeah. Patchwork quilt. Yes, yeah. that's it. Shelly, hi there. Shelly freaking loves that dress. I know, it is gorgeous, actually. Question, do you use tape to seal up padded envelopes? Not generally, not the self-seal ones. They seal themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so that's that. Yeah. A few more. Oh, I was really pleased with this. I picked it up, a, same boot sale a couple of weeks back. I think we did a vlog of it. This was a pound. It was in a rummage box of old junk. And people have been selling this as low as a tenner, 12, 15, all around that sort of area. One person managed to get 25 pounds and they had the word upgrade in the title. It was exactly the same thing as what everyone else was selling, exactly the same thing as what I had. So I put upgrade in the title and went for 25 and it sold within a day. So there you go. When you're looking up your to get your prices or an idea of price just have a look at what the the keywords that people that have done particularly well have used and i've done so well doing that um i find old software all the time and it tends to sell pretty well i pick up quite a few duds as well but when you're making this much profit on each you know when they do sell well it really doesn't matter if you pick up some stuff that's not saleable so yeah chuffed to bits with that it went as a large letter so Happy days. And, oh, who's that? <laughs> oh, this is one that's been on since the winter as well, as you can tell by my attire. <laughs> oh, is this, a, is this a spring coat as well, is it? Oh, you haven't so, put a spring coat in that one. So finally it's it sold. And as you can see, it sold. I I did a sale. Right, so you got... 20% off sale. Wow, 20% and, off. Um, Check you out. Yeah. And it sold in that, so yeah pretty pleased that it finally sold i was surprised it didn't sell a bit quicker to be honest because it's a really nice jacket yeah um, yeah that looks good yeah okay cool and do you know do you remember where you got that was that a jumble one no i have no clue i've had it that long <laughs> <laughs> no idea where it came from but it's gone back out of the door that's yeah. the main thing um okay that's that um, sorry if we're missing your questions and stuff. It, it's hard to do both. I, I know this is kind of bread and butter stuff. We all know Mario Kart sells in pretty much every format it's ever issued in. I just thought I'd share this because it sold super fast and for above the odds, simply because I put four wheels with it. Uh, the wheels are all official Nintendo. You can tell they're official Nintendo because um, on the back they'll have a little blue ring and they will have the Nintendo branding on. Um, And it just seems to add so much value and make your listing stand out. I tend to pick these up for 50p each quite regularly and just put them on the side. And then when I have a Mario Kart that I pick up, now we picked this one up uh, two or three weeks back. We went to a jumble sale and then went into the local town and I got it for £2.50 in a charity shop. So if the wheels are 50p each, that's, hang on, maths, (laughs) £4.50 investment into 30 with free shipping uh but it sold i think within 24 hours or maybe a couple of days so yeah love nintendo can't beat it oh this was a cute thing yeah he came from a jumble trail didn't he last year yeah he's been on for ages ages and ages this was when you were experimenting with pottery and stuff and Um, to be fair you've sold all of it now yeah yeah and he finally went in the sale that i set so he was the cutest thing. He's a money box, isn't he? Yeah, he's not very big, really. It's tiny. <laughs> you won't get a lot of money in it. <laughs> no. How cute is that? And he, the cork comes out. There. Oh, he's even got a chip on his ear. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. It might be the chip on the ear that yeah, it stuck around for a while. I don't know. Probably. 
but yeah, he was cute, and I can't remember how, can you remember how much you paid for it. Fifty p, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you bought it with some jugs that. and things, didn't you? Yeah. Anyway, he has gone, and hopefully, he will be loved and sit on someone's shelf. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Very happy with that. Um. So in the end, you got ten pound thirty nine in a twenty percent off sale. I've still not dabbled with the sales. I need yeah. to. I need to have a go at that. Maybe do it on some of the older car parts. Um. And you had shipping on top as well, so not too yeah. bad um a couple of questions i just saw shrimpy smith hello do you list as much as possible or average out over the weeks we kind of i don't know list as and when we can, as and really. when <laughs> i i go in fits and spurts you know i'll have a couple of days where i'll just go hammer and tongs at it and then i'll take two or three days where i do other things yeah yeah we're not very regimented, but not I mean, that organised. I organized. have days when I draft or I do photographs and I don't actually get anything listed live. Um, yeah. So, yeah. We, we could be way more efficient. We could sell way more stuff and make way more money. But for us, it's about that balance between lifestyle and work now. Yeah. And we can afford to not work as hard as we used to. So, yeah. Anyway, last thing we're going to share, uh, I've sold the second of these Dungeons and Dragons rule sets. I think this is, yeah, I had two and this is the last one. Uh, well worth picking up if you see them. They don't look much. It's a little thin box. All it's got in it is these two, two rule books and I think it's six dice. There you go, six dice. This one actually had the original little uh, kind of pastel pencil weird thing it had with it. Um, and I think both of the ones, I had the blue one and this red one, the basic and the advanced they both went aboard i'm pretty sure i think they both went gsp but oh, yeah it's bucketing it down yeah outside. i don't know if you can hear outside <laughs> outside it is tipping it down now so yeah um what did that sell for 40 with free shipping i don't think i took an offer on that either i think that went full price so there you go so if we come out of screen share now we will see if we are completely out of sync on the voices yeah i imagine we will be probably because when we do these and we have loads and loads of windows open computer gets confused and then when we come back this doesn't match with the sound <laughs> let us know if we're out of sync please <laughs> huh. um if we're not we'll probably chat a bit longer but yeah oh well, i watered some of the garden earlier i needn't have bothered no, you need to bother watering <laughs> the garden. Right, are we out? We're about a second out. Okay, pretty bad. Oh, yeah. That's quite horrific. What's your average turnaround from buying stock to selling it? Oh, God. Oh, it depends on what it is. On some items, it's horrific. I've got items in the loft from like yeah, probably 10 years ago that have just sat there. Whereas media, I will list within days because I enjoy it. It's quick. I mean, there's a stack here that I'll probably list. I'm going to do a little bit of listing later. Because it's quick to do, I'll probably get all of that on. And that was all bought at the weekend. So that's the difference for me. I yeah. love doing stuff that's quick and easy and I enjoy. Yeah. Whereas I've got, I've got boxes of stuff that have been there probably a year or two. Yeah. <laughs> it, we're not saying that you should do things like that. It's totally inefficient <laughs> and daft. No, because what happens is you put stuff away and then you buy more stuff. And then the, the new stuff is more interesting to list. So the old stuff kind of just sits there. <laughs> yeah, and then it becomes a challenge when you have stuff like, I'm not pointing at Andrew's face here, these electronics have been there ages. They yeah. need cleaning, they need testing. That's it. When they when they and... need things doing to them, that's when... I know. Well, your off. repairs pile is like Yeah, huge, I did a load it? the other day. But... Oh, did you? Cool. But yeah, I do still have more. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then it becomes hard to to find the time and dedicate the time to doing stuff like that. So what I tend to do is build it up and then I have a purge. There's a video where I got a load of electronics out last year, filled the entire side of the office and tested it all, cleaned it all, priced it all up, photographed it all and did the whole thing in a week. So I'm probably going to do that soon with electronics. But I might need two weeks this time. There's, there's tons of it, but there's so much value there. There must be thousands of pounds. I can see one, two, three, four, five. I can see seven consoles from here GameCube, PS1s, PS3s. Mm -hmm. So much value sitting there, but it gets mm -hmm. left. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, are we still doing our Thursday Live? Yes, we are. Do we even have anyone lined up for it tomorrow? I haven't thought about it. I haven't even thought about it this week. 
No, I meant to ask you earlier. Um, I was talking to somebody who was going to come on. So, yeah, I need to confirm that. We didn't set a date. <laughs> we'll do something, yeah. We could have just done this tomorrow, you see, and then not had a guest on. Yeah. We'll see. If well, we if we'll we don't see. have, if we can't arrange a guest, um, I've got a boot sale video to put out, hopefully, by then. Okay. Yeah. We'll see. Okay. We need to employ an apprentice. Yeah, I'm not sure mm. that's going to happen. Mm. Um, let me just show that. Mr. Teach, my wife has been pulling her hair out since I subbed to you guys, addicted to buying bargains to sell. Her face when I showed the picture of my latest wholesale purchase. Wow. You can't blame us for everything, though. A lot of people do. <laughs> ben Fitzpatrick. I haven't spoken to Ben in a while. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll have to see if he'll come on. I've, I haven't spoken to him for ages. Yeah, that'd be good. You've been watching some of his Disney videos, haven't you? Yeah, I like his Disney videos. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's always time for a quiz on Thursday. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that was, <laughs> we didn't do one on Monday, did we? No, we didn't. We had too much tat to talk about. Anyway, we yeah. think we should probably wrap this up. Okay. Unless you want to keep reading out stuff. No. No. That's fine. <laughs> We're done. We're probably doing people's heads in with our out of syncness. Okay. Yes, it would be nice to see Ben again. Okay, well, I'll try and contact him soon, uh, see if he wants to come on and have a chat. Yeah, it might be. Right. Thanks for watching. Uh, drop us a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Um, let Andrew know what you thought of her sales as well. And we will see you soon in another video. If you're not subscribed, please think about it. If you want to learn more about how we earn a living on uh, eBay. Um, yeah. yeah. Until next time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.